Next week marks 20 years after the horrific shootings at Columbine High School, leaving 13 victims dead. In this week's Storytellers, Nine News photojournalist Louis Ramirez and I kick off a week of special coverage on the Columbine tragedy, with a focus in this story on relationships built that will never be broken. Inside the post-shooting library at Columbine High School, the crush of media and attention is no surprise to the people impacted 20 years ago. My name is Sean Graves, and I was shot outside the cafeteria on April 20th, 1999. From the injured? Uh, I'm Rick Townsend, and I'm the father of uh, Lauren Townsend, who um, died at Columbine. To the heartbroken. My name's Bruce Beck, and I'm Lauren Townsend's stepdad. Dawn, Anna, and I'm Lauren's mom. My name is Missy Mendo, and I was 14, sitting in math class. To the traumatized. Uh, my name is Heather Martin, and I was a senior that year, and I was barricaded with other students in the choir office. They will all say the reason they can even do this is each other. With my group of friends, or even this community, we grouped together and we banded together because we were stronger as one than we were individuals, and we were all trying to heal at the same time. A lot of people are surprised even given what happened on April 20th in 1999, that how many people I'm still in contact with from high school. For the victims' families, the reason they coalesced may be found right in here. They didn't want students to go into the original library because that's where most of the victims were killed. It forced us to get to know the other families that had lost a loved one or had had one injured. And through the fundraising for the library, we grew closer and closer and that had us meeting uh, every week for a year and a half almost. We were fundraising for a library that our children were never going to walk into. That, you have to admit, that's really unique. We did get the job done. We had a very short time to do it. People did listen to our voices. And, and we became fast and forever friends. And I think that supporting each other is the key. With the media looking in, this became a glass bowl. And as a community, we were, we were looked to and we were asked, how are we gonna, you know, how do we move forward from this? They do, by never forgetting. McKenna, who is our 17-year-old, beautiful Irish step dancer, she knows Lauren like she's grown up with her. Um, Lauren has never been a, a taboo subject where we didn't want to talk about her because it was gonna hurt people and stuff. She's always been front and center in our family. She was a, a little bit of a klutz, um, which I loved about her. We, we like to laugh in our family. One of the things that was talked about after she was murdered, I think there was, I won't name the magazine, but there was something in one of the magazines about Lauren being graceful on the volleyball court. And it was like, who? Who said that? Who? <laughs> Even 20 years later, they still support one another. Columbine is incredible. The Columbine community is incredible, and the things that we've done since the shooting are all incredible. Classmates turned parents now have their kids play together. We have such a large group of people that, you know, when we go out to dinner or something to celebrate somebody's birthday, there's like 25 kids running around. We've stayed close with some of Lauren's friends. Our women, we've taken care of their child when, you know, they said hey, we were having dinner with them, and so we said, hey, if you ever need help, you know, with child support, let us know. And so she called up and we said, okay, we'll take her one day a week. And we did it for three and a half years. We're a grandma and grandpa to her now. Relationships, bonds, forged in a fire of pain, ignited 20 years ago. I hate that I know these people because of the reason I know them. I've wondered that myself. Why are we different? Because I've been told that we're not even supposed to be friends. We kind of laugh at it amongst ourselves. We just did it last week at a, a meeting again, like, you know we're not even supposed to be here together being friends. The support was so good, we all felt that we were not lost. We used each other to heal, and we still do. At Columbine High School, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.